My name is Ege Kavalalı. I am a professor of pharmacology and the acting chair of the Department of Pharmacology at Vanderbilt. I also hold the title of William Stokes Chair in Experimental Therapeutics in the department. Our lab is primarily a physiology lab that we study function dynamics of neurons, but we do a lot of molecular manipulations to perturb the system and to understand how it's formed, how it's organized, and how it functions. And the philosophy running my lab centers around the individual. I try to create and maintain an atmosphere where originality, critical thinking, and hard work is valued and uh, supported. And this, I think, uh, will make them influential scientists uh, as they transition to more independent positions themselves. My field of study is primarily focused on basic science to understand how synaptic communication between neurons occurs and what kind of signals are sent between neurons and how these are organized and how they actually impact neuronal function. We need to obtain a better understanding of how actually neurons communicate normally under normal circumstances because as we gain a better insight into how a neuron functions normally we will be able to identify uh, processes that go in the wrong direction under disease circumstances. I think this is quite an important area that might be somewhat uh, neglected in the current thinking but I think it's still quite um, essential because we really don't understand a lot of fundamentals of neuronal function and uh, communication. My primary advice to students and postdocs, especially in neuroscience, is to focus on the fundamentals. The major discoveries, major uh, leaps forward in understanding usually come from fundamental research, where you can actually discover something so basic that changes the way people look at a, a number of other things. And diversity is wonderful in many respects, but I think is also a scientific imperative so that we keep an open mind, so we really test our questions and hypotheses in multiple directions, in multiple ways. At the end, we need to reach a certain consensus, but I think a diverse environment in the lab actually helps to reach better conclusions and more long-lasting outcomes.